Uh, Y'all ready for a hot take? Getting the vibe, slight vibe, that we are getting crazy spoiled. I mean, hot damn, man. What, like, we just got what? All of Chapter 5, a new Chen banner, which means, like, what? Like, five new units? New skins? What? Dude, it's been, like, three days. It's been, like, three days. And now we're getting Hell Mode stages for Chapter 5, okay? We're getting a new skin for Mer, and we're getting Annihilation 3. Holy shit. All right, real quick, let's talk about what all this shit means real quick. Okay, so new Hell Mode stages for chapter five, okay? So pretty much it's gonna be a new difficulty for some of the maps that you can go and clear to get some extra bonus rewards. Um, there is no time limit. It's not a gated event thing or anything. You just, you know, build up your units, take them down whenever you feel like and get a little extra challenge. You know, something fun to do on the side if you really wanna challenge yourself. Now the big thing that I wanna talk about um, is Annihilation 3, okay? Because Annihilation 3 is mad, mad fun, okay? Because the reason what Annihilation 3 means is means that we get an entirely new map that's hard as hell. And then we also get, uh, if you notice for the other Annihilation maps, you get this claim button. So we will be getting something like this as well for Annihilation 3. So shit tons of um, little, uh, the green badges. I think these are called commemorations. I don't, I don't fucking remember. Uh, then we have the EXP tickets, the Lungman dollars. And then most importantly, by the way, that should not be understated, okay? Let's 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 note these rewards real quick. We also get a weekly reward limit up for our random, which means that we're gonna be able to summon even more as completely free to play, which is dope. And just you know, whales in general use a random too. It's not just spend your money and good shit. So let's note this shit real here, right here, okay? Let's go to climb. So we go to the bottom here, all right? So this gave us 30k on the last chapter, and this gave us. 40k on the max reward thing okay so if you clear all 400 enemies you get 40k and everything else above it so we get what 40 70 95 115 120 130 138 143,000 lungman dollars that's pretty damn good okay that's pretty damn good obviously the main thing is um the arundum but uh hey that's still pretty damn good now how do you prepare for annihilation 3 well i could show a map of Annihilation 3, but I don't want to because that's spoilies and that shit sucks, okay? I do not look at the fucking content coming before it's been announced for the game because that's spoilies, dude. And I ain't trying to see a strategy of that shit, but what I do like to know is units to build and operator levels that I should perhaps consider um, for taking on this content, okay? So, uh, for the Annihilation 3 map that I have seen, Okay, yes, I did look at peek at the map without there be else being anything on it. Uh, there is three entry points for the enemy to get to in order to lose power. There are four pathways in order to get there. So you should block all those pathways. Before I get into that, let's talk about the operator level. Now, I have seen a lot of uh, level numbers being thrown around, but I'm probably going to say anywhere from E155. If you have operators between E155 and uh yeah like e160 65 you should be okay um there's gonna be a lot of great units that are free to play friendly uh for this stage like kuora um jessica would be great so would be cross uh midnight would be good although you gotta pull from i believe catapult would be great um and just a couple others would, if you have poppy car you can build her uh gava yell is good and those are all the free to play units that i want to recommend off the top of my head oh also spot Dude, have you used your spot yet? Because he fucks. Anywho, so yeah, somewhere between E E155 um, and E160, you should be good to go. And yeah, you can also use your free-to-play operators. No, they have not fallen off yet, which is great. Now, let's talk about roles um, that you want to fill. So there is three entry points, but there are four pathways to get there, which means you're going to want four ground units that can tank because there's going to be units coming through each one of those pathways, okay? So I recommend some mixture of guard and um, guard and defenders, okay? Um, specific, specific guards I would like to recommend are uh, Lapland and Silrash, if you have either. If you don't have Lapland and you're like, why are you recommending Lapland? Here's what's cool. If you have any of these yellow tickets, go to the shop and buy her. I was going to say another word, but I'm trying to cut back on the swearing, okay? Dog, okay. If you have not bought Lapland yet, please tell me why in the comments. If you don't have the yellow tickets, you don't have the yellow tickets, okay? But if you do, you have two days from now seeing this to go buy her. 
She is broken, okay? Let me break down Lapland real quick before I continue, in case you haven't bought her. Just, or if you have her and you don't know how to use her properly, okay? She is a five star who should be a six star. Her damage is insane, okay? She can take her damage from physical, turn it to arts, okay? Which goes through physical. And then she also doubles her damage by attacking an additional target, okay? Also, in case you don't notice, she can hit aerial units as a guard, okay? So she can anti-air, she can ignore armor, and she does a shit ton of damage, and you can get her right now, guaranteed. You don't need to promote her, you don't need to increase her potential. For 45 yellow tickets, man, please, do yourself a favor, get yourself a Lapland. Also, I wanna talk about Silver Ash because Silver Ash is very good. Um, he also does the same shit as Lapland relatively uh, in the regards to he has an anti-air. Can I upgrade this? No, I can't, fuck. Oh, also, let's not forget, there is a Mer skin. Now, I was shitting on Mer a bit because she looks really bland. If you like her, hey, that's okay. You and me don't have to have similar taste. Yeah, we will be getting a skin. Should we be like a construction worker? It's okay, I guess. Anywho, let's get back to the talk. Um, Spectre would be another great one. If you have a Spectre, should really help uh, hold it down, especially if you have an Etude. Um, Bee Hunter is going to be fucking nuts, okay? Because they're going to have um, good resistance, but not too good armor. So if you bring Bee Hunter, she'll shred it because when you pop her, um, when you pop her ability too on non-armored units, or at least weaker armor units, she's going to shred it. So yeah, people are going to try to shit on Bee Hunter. D don't listen to them. She's, she's nuts, man. She's nuts. Yeah, Kawar is great because you get it for free. Uh, Lapin's amazing because she can block and she can also get anti-air. Melentha is going to be amazing because she's fucking Melentha. Uh, Spot's going to be great because he has all those heals. Uh, Plume, I don't necessarily agree with. I don't really think she's too great here. I mean, you can use her if you like, but I'm not really a fan. Um, Texas, you know, Siege, Zima. You're going to have a lot of options. The, the flexibility of your guard and defender options is going to be great. Um, but now let's talk about another important thing. Hey, kitty. Um, so the other thing you're going to want to bring is you're going to want to bring an anti-air. There are going to be some flying units. And let's say you don't have a Lapland or a Silver Ash. You're going to be struggling with the aerial units. So considering some anti-air options would be great. Um, I know a lot of people see Cross as a three-star and they don't think she's good enough. Um, I generally think that E-155 Cross is better than Jessica. Hey, kitty. I know. I know. We love me. I know. Let's go on the beanbag. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I would use E155 Cross over a Jessica any day, unless you eat to her, which I have, and she becomes an absolute babe when you eat to her. And actually, she becomes quite good when you eat to her. So if you do have an E2 Jessica, you can. Um, by the way, if you haven't E2 your Jessica, it's incredibly free. All right. Uh, Catapult's also dope. If you have her, you should be using her. Um, she's gangster, man. I mean, the damage that she can do, the range that she can cover when you max the um, level 7 ability out. Kitty's back. Anywho. Yeah, Catapult's crazy. Uh, but the best... Uh, AoE sniper that I think you should bring is definitely a meteorite. I know we're getting a little bit off topic, but yeah, you're going to want to bring an anti-air and you're going to, well, you can also bring Xia if you have her because she's going to do enough damage to like be an anti-air because she's going to kill shit so much quicker that she can just go on to the um, flying units naturally. So don't think you need an anti-air if you have an Xia, especially at E2. Uh, but yeah, you also have Meteorite, which you're going to need an AoE Sniper as well, because uh, once again, this stage is very susceptible to um, physical damage, and she's great because she also has a... Um, a fireball, which is going to shred all of the enemy's uh, physical defense, which is going to be great because there's going to be a lot of fucking units, which means she's going to be able to synergize even more. So if you have a meteorite, definitely build her. Uh, I think her, e her skill 2 is going to be incredibly strong here. Now for healers, um, if you have a Saria, you can kind of gimp out a little bit if you run her on skill 2 because then she can heal up really good. But in case you don't have a Saria, um, I like to recommend Silence. Silence would be great to bring here uh, because then you can use your little medibot and you can spot heal for places that are somewhat like, you know, getting swarmed during the time. You have a lot more flexibility. Uh, but other than that, because you're going to be able to use more units, um, you're going to probably want to have a Talopsis if you have her. Her passive is very good for regenerating SP. And when you have an entire board out for as long as you can, her passive is going to trickle, trickle, trickle um, for a lot, lot longer. So that's going to be fucking great. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Arts damage, arts damage, arts damage. Now, the difference between needing an arts damage user, so, you know, magic damage, between um, single target and AoE, it doesn't really matter. You're probably going to want to have one to two decent uh, magic damage dealers to bring here. Um, the resistance is quite high here, but that's okay. But units I'd like to recommend, uh, I really like Skyfire. She's dope. Amiya, if you haven't if you haven't built her yet, man, please just build her. But, yeah, just having two uh, arts damage dealer is really good. Uh, AFE Yala would do great. Uh, yeah. Um, also, Nightingale's also really great here because there's a lot of magic damage going on. So, yeah, I think that's everybody who I want to recommend. 
Uh, Project Bread is great for your first couple tries to um, alleviate pressure where you otherwise are kind of struggling. And, you know, Warframe's always dope because she's gang your shit. Also, you can pretty much solve this with just Silver Ash and Warframe. So, that's a cool thing. Hey, if you have E2 Silver Ash, congrats. You've already beat Annihilation 3. You just don't know it yet. But, yeah, but just to keep this video short and digestible, I think I covered everything we need to know. But, yeah, dude, more updates, man. What the fuck? Already, dog? Already? Hey, whatever. Hope this is a sign for things to come. This, this is awesome, man. <laughs> Fucking awesome. I didn't need anything to do right now. I'm still... I still haven't even beat all Chapter 5 on Challenge Mode, but I have done some sweet free-to-play guides uh, for Chapter 3 and Chapter 10, which are Chapter, sorry, 5-3 uh, and 5-10, which will be uploaded soon. But regardless, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I've been Tech Y'all have a great. Hope y'all have a damn good one. Peace.